today and we're gonna keep this one a surprise last time last couple times I've given you some inspiration pictures that I sent to my stylist but yes. today we have some big changes <laughs> so I'm gonna get my mop cut off today let's just do you like that this is the mop because all of us mop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is like the mohawk uh, mop here I like it yeah well, I'm excited it's gonna be fun and we're gonna do something a little bit different than we've ever done with the coloring as yeah. well yeah. so stay tuned for that oh, but she's getting me all ready we're gonna go in with some clippers yes I do think we are well maybe we will not talk about this since okay. it's just a surprise <laughs> <laughs> Here we so. go. This is the dun, number dun, dun. two. This is the number two. Um, we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna modernize her up a little bit. And um, you know it's seventy degrees today, so yeah. I'm feeling like it's time for summer. Right. <laughs> we we say that here, and poor people are probably freezing. Right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> our summer has our spring has begun. Right. <laughs> Apparently, the groundhog must have seen what's what's the, he did the see <laughs> shadow. He did. <laughs> But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and clean her up with the number two. I'm, I am gonna go through and use a number one through the bottom as well. Today, one thing we are gonna be doing a little different is we're gonna take this back up a little bit higher for Shirley today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've kind of teetered on, you know, we want it edgy, but we don't want it, you know, to change who she is totally. So with that, we're gonna take this a little higher and, um, you know, let her, she, she has a nice head shape back here. So we'll let that do the work <laughs> and then help her. We're actually going to shorten a little in the crown. So thus we don't need all this fullness to help kind of mm -hmm. marry those two areas here from the bottom. So short to the top longer. So this is something that we're kind of, that, that is different because in the past, I feel like we've always gone like where I shatter this a little yeah. bit more. Mm -hmm. So we are going to definitely go higher, but we're not going to just give like this hard line and kind of like what we've done otherwise with the undercut. Yes, I just go, I don't worry about arching it out at all, but here I am going to still keep, I'd like to keep a little that, that feminine shape a little bit. So she's creating her own masterpiece. Right. <laughs> I'm taking from the barbers where I need to and, you know, then inputting my own. <laughs> she's doing a fabulous job. Better sit down for this. No, I just can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, going to begin. So we, because I took her a little higher and shorter, um, we are going to kind of like gradually get her blonde to the front. So I'm, I'm not afraid of keeping her a little darker in the crown area. Um, again, I'm going to just do some fine highlights um, and and try to keep them real blended. And I'll just do some of, I'll do like one. And then rather than going like super heavy, like I have in the past, I'll just I don't want them to look stripey so you've got to do them close enough but maybe like just that's where you kind of think of like the baby light like fine just real fine so it so in the end it kind of like blends for her and then as we get towards the front um we are going to take it much more chunkier so and and the reason I the, really just the reason I like to kind of do this from the back to the front is I really don't like seeing stripes in people's hair. That's really the, the biggest so, thing. Especially like on some might say, well, she has such a contrast already. Like how do you prevent it? And it's just with that finer highlighting. And although we are going to be shortening her quite a bit, she still is going to have a little bit on her ends through here. So on her sides here, because we are not taking her all the way clean to like just her top where she's going to like wear a mohawk <laughs> as well. I am just doing some baby lights all through this, through the lower sides. Um, again, we are transitioning from the bottom having like, we're going to do this darker. So I don't need her to be like, for us today, we're not doing like high platinum blonde, but you can see through her ends, she's got quite a bit of lightness there. So I am going to just take these little baby lights here and just again marry them kind of up so that way they kind of they work with the chunky blonde that we're going to be doing on the top so okay so here in the front we are actually going to so she has her natural <laughs> my natural platinum yes mm -hmm. she's lucky isn't she she has like her own money piece <laughs> right. so anyways um yeah. It's cool until that's not cool anymore, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. We'll embrace it while we can. Right. So um, around here, especially, you can see where she gets dark. Um, I do tend to just as well do baby fine, like kind of baby, like uh, baby lights on her, and I tend to 
just do for it's for blending if i do a solid slice or whatever you're going to see that as it grows out so we kind of want it to make um marry it with her natural color <laughs> and she was she was pretty dark because it's been a bit mm -hmm. so um we'll just paint some of that through and then in addition we will do her little spot right here again really fine ones are the ticket i think around the highlight like the hairline no matter how blonde you want it it just grows out better and then after you get around the hairline probably three four in then you can start to do slicing chunking whatever you want to do and today on her, I would say we're kind of going to be a little in between of slicing and chunking, so. Okay, so right here, as you can see, I think people probably should know this. So we as well did her pretty chunky the last time, so I'm going to kind of touch that one up because that was like a solid slice I think mm -hmm. and then the next one I'll because if you don't break them up and we are going to cut quite a bit off of her then she might have these like little tipped ends that are blonde <laughs> that just don't really look right and so then the next one then we'll do more of a chunk yeah love it yeah I love when you do that trying to keep it good foil day I today. Do. <laughs> I know. It's right? actually what it's called. <laughs> is that really? I Grandma. love it. Yeah. It's really fun. <laughs> it is kind of fun, huh? Okay, so what we are going to do now, we've got her all highlighted, and then I'm going to just take these little long ones that are still left, and we are going to, this is kind of why you want to mix your lightener a little thick due to the fact of when you start to move it. You don't want to move it that much, but that way it hopefully will stay. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, this is what I'm going to do. I actually did half. This is um, Rusk. It is actually the uh, the Lift in 10 one. And it is, I did, actually I did 5 cc's of, um, I'm sorry, grams, not cc's, of 5N, N, and then I did 5 cc's of 4N. So I was afraid to go commit her to 4N because it is pretty dark. First time doing it she herself I want to match her natural um, she herself is dark but in the front here you're not as dark so I kind of wanted to kind of go with that a little bit too okay. and I just you just paint them through kind of, kind of get it on the scalp, but real clean mm -hmm. this, is, this, will, this will remain with us <laughs> post <laughs> post the rinse <laughs> right <laughs> We're in the process. Um, and we are. So I just want to kind of show everybody. This is pretty well lit. It is a little metallic-y, a little bit, or actually more yellowy than it is. But um, so obviously inside of the banana is what we kind of go for. Yeah, we like that color. Yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to be um, toning her actually with a nine B from Red Can, half nine B and half 10 VV from Red Can Shades. So. And uh, that'll give her like, we want it to be cooler, but more on the like the kind of platinum me. Still Not blonde. Not too gray. Not ashy, ash. you yeah. know what I mean? Cause we kind of like the brightness. Yes, yeah. and, and sometimes the ash can dull it down a little bit. So right. we're gonna we keep it bright. Like <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs>
doing is I am kind of just slowly cutting due to the fact in a good way we're totally changing this up and going a lot shorter. So specifically in the crown, I just don't want to get our calyx, you know, too, too, too poppy. So we're, I'm going to just slowly take some sections and, you know, slowly go shorter. She's got one over here. You can see it kind of popping up. I don't want it to give her too much of a, like a problem. Like you can see that. Yeah. So when you <laughs> see that, obviously it's already a little overly excited, you know? <laughs> Well, so we don't want to make it shorter because then it will be even more exciting. <laughs> so I kind of just do it slowly that way you can kind of see. I'm using a razor because I do like that on the perimeter. And um, if you end up a little overly texturized, you can always use a bit of a scissor to kind of help out with that. But but yeah, because see, see like all through here, yeah. if, I, yeah. if I cut this all really short. I think you're going to hate like, it yeah. because this is all going to just, it's going to just stick it's gonna up. It's going to just be like, yeah. Right. So what I think is in a good way, we've trimmed all of this, mm -hmm. okay. but I think maybe we can kind of leave you a little bit longer in the crown. Okay. Like I'll trim it. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But, um, I think that that's a way we can kind of keep it only because I, I see how this is already mm -hmm. and yeah. I haven't even cut it. Right. Right. So not that it's bad, but yeah. uh, I think that we should err on the cautious side yeah. of that. <laughs> I've lost some hair. I've lost some hair. I have. Where are you? There you are. There we go. Maybe like right, right through, through there. here. It looks yeah. like it when you're uh -huh. moving it around. Yeah. So I don't know. Whatever you think. You're you're a good styler, so I think you can figure it out. That mm -hmm. and I don't. I, again, I won't do like major, but yeah. I'll take it up okay. a little bit shorter. Yeah. license to style it in a different way. Ah! <laughs> She's like, what? I don't no, style short hair. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> right? Like, you don't. Hey, that, that's one thing like, that is, I'm not usually, the, well, if anything, like I look at mm -hmm. you. Think pink, you know? Channel right? Pink.
did. Okay, here we are. She's all fancy. Oh my goodness. So we shortened her up. We went a little more, little threw a little edge into it. Mm -hmm. Um, and the color, I feel oh, yes, like because true. this is a one around yes. the bottom, yes. and then we did a two up here, but I feel like because you added that color, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm bald. That's true, and, and with that, her, her skin honestly might be a bit stained, so you might, <laughs> you <laughs> it might lighten up a little bit, is but, that what but, you're saying? But I do think, I, I agree, I like the way that you have that depth there, mm -hmm. and, and that's yeah. fine. We, so we just did that color on the bottom, and voila. Voila. I think it does kind of add that pop a little yeah. bit too. And you know, oh, Valentine's happy Day. Valentine's Day. I hope love. you enjoyed it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> thank you Bye. to the best stylist oh. ever, oh, right? Yes. I know. Too much, so yeah. thank you. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. See you next time.